Good morning. I'm Robert Davis, if you're new here. And this morning we're going to do a fairly brief tutorial on CRUD operations or create, read, update, and delete in Microsoft SQL Server uh, with Python. And we'll use the uh, import of Pi ODBC to accomplish this. So let's get started. I'm going to take you over here to uh, click on SQL Server just to see what we got. And I'll show you the, the table. And here it is. This is all our information we got in here now. And so we'll uh, close this query and come over here to, I'm using a Sublime Text. It's a great little sort of an IDE for Python and uh, with that, I use uh, Windows PowerShell in admin mode. So here's what we're going to take a look at. I have this file here called database.py. And uh, first thing we need to do is import PyODBC. If you uh, don't have that on your computer, uh, you just have to go from your command prompt on your terminal and type in pip space pi install space pyodbc and let that run and uh, install that for you. And then uh, you really ought to try out this. Uh, this editor slash ID for Python Sublime Text. Um, it has not given me any problems at all. Uh, Visual Studio 2022 also works fine and Visual Studio Code with the extensions works fine. So here we have uh, import PyODBC is our first step. And then we create the methods. This one is the uh, create connection. You'll see the connection in a minute. And then down here to read connection. Oh, and let's talk about the SQL here. Um, insert in the context F name M name, L name, uh, values, question mark, question mark, question mark. And then you put the values down here below. Uh, and I understand that using the question mark placeholders is safer than putting literals in the values due to the uh, infamous SQL injection uh, issue. And then when you do an insert, you've got to do a commit. And then uh, we read the con. And then we have the read con. And this simply executes a cursor, select star from contacts. And then for row in cursor, uh, it prints row and its values. Then we have the update con, which is another cursor, and we execute update context set f name equals Tina, where f name equals testing. Commit that, read it, 
and then finally the delete con that's another cursor execute delete from contacts where f name equals tina and then you commit that now here's the connection or con and you see we have the we have that driver sql server native client 11.0 this is my server the database we're using is contacts and the trusted connection is set to yes so it uses my windows authentication instead of requiring me to put in um, a, a sql server authentication uh, for name and password so that simplifies everything a, a bunch and then here's where we call the different methods create read update delete where crud comes from and then we close the connection so how about we run this and see what we come up with and it's control b in uh, sublime text to execute the python code so here we go and you see uh, the first thing it does we do the create and you see here Tina Ike Turner was ins uh, inserted on the create up here and then we do the read which gives us the same result then we do the update uh, which gives us the same result because there is no there is no f name equal testing like this um, and then we do the delete and you see Tina Turner's gone from the uh, result set so these are the simple things that you can do with MySQL and let's change this to uh, uh, well let's take the comment the delete out so we can get a Tina Turner record in there. She's one of my favorite singers. Okay, that's commented out. So let's run this again. It's Control B as in boy. And there you see she's back in all the results. So that's one, two, three. So let's say um, set f name to trina or f name equals tina tina and we can put the delete back in and comment that and then control b again to run it so see she gets put in again all the result sets so uh, let's run this again it should delete her now it added her again. Let's see what I do. Delete from contacts where F name equals Tina. Okay, let's do this. Where row is greater than four. Let's try that and see what happens. Control B again. 
Uh, no. I didn't do anything. Oh, there's, there's Trina. Uh, then Trina twice. Then Trina four times. Okay, and then we'll say where F name equals Tina. Control B. Well, they were supposed to disappear. Wonder why that is. Okay, this should be changed to Trina. Control B. There we go. There we go. On this delete set, we see what we're supposed to see. Four records. Yeah. So anyway, that's the Python code. Remember, you got to import your PyODVC which is a multi ODPC driver for Python and you can connect to lots of different databases and spreadsheets, things like that. Uh, so there's that in a nutshell and we just call the CRUD operations in order here. And there you have it. So that's it for this tutorial. I sure appreciate you being with me. And I was happy to do this for you. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial.